Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a donut chart that is interactive. So what I've got on the screen is the finished article. So basically, if I select a person in this list, this chart will react to that. And if I select a different person, you can see the chart is reacting to that. And you've got remaining and complete and which is just a reflection of these two cells up here. So this is validation in these cells. There is a VLOOKUP that's looking at this list, which is called Steve. And there's another VLOOKUP there looking at the same list, but a different column to give you the complete column there. And then this is a donut chart that is going to show you that information. So what I want to do is just start from scratch, delete this chart and you can see how I did it. So just get rid of that. And I'll just recreate the thing underneath. So if I copy these titles, I'll just copy those, paste them down here. So we get that down there. And then I do my validation list. So that's on the data tab. And this option, validity. And you've got all values. And then you've got different options, cell range, or list and cell range is what I'm going to go for it gives you the option to get the, the range which is these four and then that'll do okay and then I'll see if I've got them in there I do and then this table if I highlight this table is called Steve so I just named it by typing Steve and pressing enter in there so I can refer to it um, just go back to home for a minute. Just want to colour that cell in. So I'm going to look at whatever comes in there. So I'll select somebody, select Dave, and now I need to do a V look up there that's going to look at Dave and pull this information in for remaining and complete. So it's equals V look up. Open the bracket on that. I'm looking at that cell, comma. I'm looking at the data range called Steve comma and this first one is column two of that range two comma zero I want an exact match and zero is what you can put and then if I just tick that to see if that works it's coming in but I need to format that as a percentage but I'll just double check that that's going to work so 90 for Dave 90 and then I'm just I want to pull this across because I didn't name this so I'll have to dollar sign E7 with the F4 key, just dollar sign that, tick, and then I should be able to pull that across. And then I've got um, the same figure because it's still looking at column two, so I do need to change that to a three. So now it's going to look at column three of that table, tick, and I get the right 90 and 10, which is correct. And if I just move that across and then format that to percent, I get my percentages like so and if I just tidy this up a little bit with the borders go for all borders nice and easy now if I select a person the figures change to reflect that person now on this top one I also have a formula that's just linking these two together that just says equals E3 so equals in this case that cell E7 and then tick and then I merged and centered that across the top, merge and center, like so. So we're now ready to go, everything's working. So all I have to do is create my little graph. So I'm going, highlighting all the data, insert, chart, and the wizard starts. The one I want is under the pie chart group, and it's the donut option that I want. So I'm clicking on donut, and then I'm just going to, quickly bounce through this see it's not looking right there I need to change this into rows and then that's now changed to how I want it to be and I can just quickly go through the rest of this now don't really need a title because the title is going to be sitting on there I want Anne in this case and Dave on that case to sit in there with the data labels if you do want to put a title for the whole graph you can do that I'll just sit at the top um, I suppose I could do that stuff status 
for example and then I'll just go finish so staff status is now sitting up there now I need the data labels on here so if I right click you can insert data labels and then it's come up with the data labels if I right click again you can format data labels that will open the format data labels box and that's the borders data labels so value is percentage it's already in there um, I want category so that's then going to come up with um, remaining and complete and then series name should pick up whoever it is and in this case now the font I want that font to be a bit bigger than that and I want to fade this out a little bit so it's not as intrusive as that so font at the moment is 10 I'm going to change that to 16 say and let's just click OK to see what that looks like 16 is probably a little bit too big but if I just get myself into double click onto that data series and then transparency just that'll do 50 and that's looking quite cool so everything's okay there now if I just test the whole thing by selecting a different person if I select a different person Dave Dave 10% complete 90% remaining John and the same information comes through for John and we just had a look at Anne and then the last person is Peter so that's basically how you can create a donut chart that reacts to whatever you select on a valid, valid validation list and the VLOOKUP is bringing the correct information across so that's all I want to talk about in this little video so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one